crafters, it's Hannah here from handcraftedcards.com. This is the card that I'm going to be showing you how to make today. I'm going to be showing you how I got this fun background image here and we're going to be doing some big shot work so we'll have lots of fun using that. We're using the Dragonfly Dreams stamp set and the coordinating dies. So let's get into the video. So let's start by doing some heat embossing. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you know how much I love heat embossing. It is my favourite, favourite technique. So I'm going to get my embossing buddy and just swipe it over our card. Now we're going to do the dragonfly and the spots was the case. We're doing these dragonfly wings in the body and then these spots in Versamark and then just some clear embossing powder. So I think first I will do some of the spots. And just down in the bottom left hand corner we want these. You can't see that more than likely but I can. So work out where to put the next stamp and just a couple more there then I'm going to do the wings reverse mark stays work for a while so I don't have to rush too much And then just his body. I'm going to have to get my head right in to make sure I'm lining this up right. I think that's right. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I had to get my head right in there to have a look. I think. Uh, not too bad. <laughs> so let's get some clear embossing powder on this. be able to see where I stamped. I always kind of go heavy with the embossing powder just to make sure there's plenty on there. Just very gently tap it off because I don't want loads of it coming off. don't know if you can... No, you can't see that at all. <laughs> no worries. I will heat this now. Then hopefully you might be able to see it. Whoops, see it a little bit. You might not be able to see this at all, but I'm just actually going to hit it from underneath for a change. I'm just heating up the embossing powder, and as you're heating it, it will change from being powdery to nice and shiny. So if I hold that up, oh that's still sticky, you can just make out where the embossing powder is. Just get that going again. Okay, so that is all inked up, no, embossed up even. Now we're going to ink it up with some... Uh, so saffron and some Bermuda Bay and I'm going to do the so saffron around the dragonfly Put some embossing powder there so over the dragonfly then you'll probably be able to see let me zoom in there we go 
can see now what I have done. I didn't get that dragonfly very straight, but not to worry. And then over where I've done the spots. That's my phone. <laughs> I'm going over the edges so you get the nice colour along the edge of your card as well. And I think that is enough. I'm just going to grab a baby wipe. Where have I put my baby wipes? I don't know. Let me just go and find them. I couldn't find my baby wipes, but I've just got some tissue just to rub over the embossed areas and then the image will pop up just a little bit more. So I've done with the So Saffron for now. I'm just going to take the Bermuda Bay and stamp those spots again. Just clean it off. So the same spots that we did before. I'm going to stamp over the top of where he stamped earlier. And just be careful because it might smudge a little bit. But that's okay. tissue again and rub over so it will look like those spots are underneath the embossed spots that's quite pretty so next oops we put that aside to one second for one second even and bring in a piece of very vanilla and I've just oh well stamped on the wrong piece but no worries <laughs> so we're going to stamp the dragonfly this one we're going to cut out with the dies so a tip that I saw I think it was Crafty Caroline that I saw her do this when she got her dies just to make sure that it is straight she sat the die on top of the stamp just to make sure particularly the tail bit so it makes sure that it's sitting straight so that was a tip I saw from Caroline so thank you very much for that and let's ink this up and stamp Make its head up a bit more. There we go. Stamp that. This is really detailed, this stamp. And this is the first time that I'm stamping it too. So, wow. Look how detailed those wings are. They're awesome, aren't they? And then while I've got that ink out, I'm going to take the sentiment from that stamp set. And I'm going to use uh, Enjoy Your Special Day. And just drop it down on the work surface to make sure that it is straight. And then pick it up. And just stamp that at the other end. We'll just cut that out. Okay, now some big shot work. Just cut that off. That will cut out with scissors. I'm going to bring my big shot in. Let me zoom back out. Okay. My 
got my big shot with the magnetic platform on it place our image down there and then put that out and at the same time I've got a piece of Bermuda Bay which I will cut out with the detailed die so those are, those are the other dies that are in the set a big one, the little ones in the B I'm going to use this one this is literally the first I'm using this as well. it's still on the white card because I don't actually store them like this because it gets sticky okay I'm going to run that through and this detailed one I probably should have used the precision platform but I haven't so I'm just going to run it back and forth a couple of times and hopefully it will have cut this one definitely will have cute I love it so let's see if this one has oh it has it's tapping and <laughs> it just flies out awesome There's my pokey tool. Just to pop these out. They are cut, so they just need popping out. And then I'm going to cut this one more time in so saffron. So I'll do that and be right back. So I've cut that one out. So we have our, uh, what colour is it? So saffron. <laughs> Uh, Bermuda Bay and then the one that we stamped and then the sentiment I've just cut it out on a wavy banner um, and we can put this card together I'm actually going to get another piece because silly me stamped on the wrong one I'm just going to actually layer this up now yeah, I will do that. And I've got a piece of the new um, cupcakes and cones, uh, cupcakes and carousels designer series paper. It is absolutely amazing. I love, love, love this paper pack. It's so gringy, and lots of ideas that I can do with that. But I've got a strip of it here, and I'm going to stick this at the top. I'm just deciding now whether or not to take it right across. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to stick this down with some Fast Fuse, my favourite adhesive. But you can use whatever adhesive you like. Like that. Then take this strip and cover it right across the top actually yeah we'll go a little bit higher uh, let me see I think I'm going to cut this in half just so I've just got one strip of the diamonds so I'm just putting this in my paper trimmer and I'm going to line up we'll try to line up So I've got one strip of the diamonds instead of two. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> Okie doke. So just some fast fuse on the back of that. Right to the top of the So Saffron card. Snip off the excess. Okay. I'm going to layer up these two. So I'm just going to take a glue dot on the back of. 
this one just in the middle of his body and layer it up on top of the Bermuda Bay one and then bend his wings up a little bit Cute. Love it. So that one's going to go about there. And this one I'll put about here. And then our sentiment is going to go across. So this I'll stick down first. I feel like it needs some twine or something, don't you think? Yeah. So put that on that way. See what I've got. I've got anything. Oh, the linen thread would be perfect on this, but I don't have any. That's a shame. If you've got linen thread, add some of that because that will be just right. No, I don't have any. Oh well. I'll stick this one up the top. there and then our sentiment I'm just going to attach it with one of the I don't know if you've seen these the bow paper clips they're yeah, very cute just little bows I thought that would go quite nicely I'm going to put that on before I stick this down to the card base because I don't want this to come off along a little bit just adjusting it so you can still see the words there we go some fasces on the back of all of this now and just put a little bit extra around where the paper clip is it from behind to give it a good press make sure it's all stuck down oh that's so cute I love it there we go and I think as soon as I've got this strip here I'm gonna stick that inside so as not to waste it I'll just get a piece of very vanilla Bear with. There we go. Can add this on the inside with that strip on it as well, so we don't waste any of this awesome paper. Because it is too nice not to use it all up. There we go. So that is our card done for today. I hope that you like this video and you give this card a try. If you're wondering where I got my inspiration for this card, it was in the catalogue. 
I tell you, these catalogues are really, really good for ideas and inspiration. So if you haven't got one, I'll leave a link for my email. And you can send me an email and I'll get one in the post to you so you can be inspired just like I am. Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I have lots of awesome videos planned for you all. Thank you for liking this video and please share it with your friends. That would be awesome. So I'll see you all in the next video.